Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Jen and today I'm going to be showing you how I did a few illustrations with Posca pens. These are pretty straightforward and easy. The only thing is, is they do take a little bit of time and by a little bit I mean each one takes like maybe an hour if not more depending how quickly you can color in and fill in the color for some of them. The first one is going to be a Morel Mushroom Pastel Scene. There it is. First, I'm going to tape off the edges. This just saves a little bit of room that you don't have to color in and ultimately saves time. I'm going to start off with this light purple color and just sort of draw a blobby randomly. I don't really know, maybe a bean shape you could call that, and then start with your second color and make two more bean sort of shaped more round mushrooms. You keep coloring them in. This is going to take a lot longer in real life than what you see on camera because I use a little cinematography magic for this to speed up the process. And again, you just keep adding in your mushroom shapes and coloring them in. And you're just going to keep doing this over the whole page spread. And you see I'm now using the light pink and I'll switch back to the purple. And I keep doing that. I will sporadically switch the colors and the location. That way you don't get a purple by a purple or a pink by a pink. Luckily, I am using four colors, which is just enough to keep them spread apart enough that they look really nice together. Now take a similar but darker color and add dashes all over the morale mushroom to create the sort of whole effect that you see in them in real life. This doesn't have to be perfect, just go in and create the dashes and don't overthink it. I think that is the best advice that I can give to you. To save time, close your sketchbook and say Abraca Mushroom and you get a fully completed page spread. Go ahead and take that washi tape off and we're on to the next one. All right, where's Hal Slytherin? Up next we have some snakes. This one, again, super fun and easy. All you need in addition to your Posca pens is going to be a pencil and a scrap piece of paper. You just need to start with a scrap piece of paper. Here's the inspo. We're going to draw a spoon shape for the head and then create a center line and then the outside of the snake. Go ahead and take all the time that you need with this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but then you want to go back over it again where you want the lines to be exactly and press down kind of hard. You want to be able to see the pencil line on the back side of this paper when you turn it over. Go ahead and flip this paper over and we're going to create our own trace paper. 
go ahead and shade and color in the outline of the snake. You can forget about the middle part. We don't need that center line anymore. Once you have it nicely shaded, we'll be good to go to start the next part. Tape off the perimeter of the page and then tape down the snake where the snake is somewhat center within the outline of your tape area. I cut off the bottom of my paper so I can tape down the edge and then take a felt tip pen. I'm using a micron and again, trace the outline of the snake. And we're going to do this again on the other side of the page. Just have the little snake guy flip the other way so that they are looking the other direction. And again, go over it with your Micron pen. This is pretty easy and it creates a simple outline for us. I'm using this teal color as my background. So I'm gonna color the area that I wanna color in. I'm gonna outline it essentially so that I can just easily color it in without worrying about going over the snake. I did a little bit more magic there and had it filled in rather quickly. Again, I'm outlining the snake in this color and then I'll fill the background in. For the snake body, I'm going with a deep purple color. You can choose whatever colors you want. Again, the background for this one, you're gonna wanna keep it a somewhat lighter shade of color because we're gonna go over it with Posca pens to create a leaf looking background and I did test my colors to make sure that I like them with the background color before starting the leaf shapes. Now these don't have to be perfect. You don't need to make each leaf symmetrical with the leaf on the opposite side. You don't want to sweat the details or overthink it. You're doing this to have fun and to relax or at least that's why I do these sorts of illustrations. So remember to just have fun, let go a little and don't overthink it. I'm going in now with a pink Posca pen and just creating these loopy sort of shapes. All of these are really easy to create and the more you create leaf shapes, the easier they get. So just keep trying and if you need to practice on a spare piece of paper, go ahead and do that. I'm drawing in some little eyes with eyelashes and then I'm going back over the leaves and creating veins and details with some Prismacolor color pencils. I'm also creating a really simple background on the teal background just to give it more depth and interest. And then I create these hashtags to give the illusion of snake scales. Again, we're just gonna take off that washi tape and we'll be good to start the next one in just a moment. All right, just one more to go. Woo! It's a moon and a sun. So I start off with my washi tape and I trace it. And of course you can see I have outlined the page and washi tape as well. Now I'm going to create the sunshine or ray beams, whatever you wanna call them. I'm not sure how to quite describe how to do this part. So hopefully you're able to see what I'm doing and get an idea on how to create these lines on your own. So I do want to quickly mention that this washi tape is designed by me and you can find it and the other one used in this video on my Etsy shop. I'll be sure to link it down below if you're interested. Now I do fix some of the lines up and I go over and erase them slightly. I just want to make sure that the Posca pens don't show through or the pencil doesn't show through with the Posca pen. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the nib of my Posca pen so that it doesn't look green. Anytime you use a Posca pen with another color for shading, it will contaminate the marker. So you have to make sure that you start with a clean nib. So you wanna outline the little ray area and then fill it in with color. And then you just repeat this. I use the pink color about every three segments and then I'll start with the next color shortly and you'll see it's a pretty easy process. You just follow along with each color as you go. Thank you. 
Now I'm adding in some details and making the face. I do mess up the eyes, or at least I just don't like the eyes. So I go over them with the yellow Posca pen. This is one of the great things about Posca pens is it's really easy to cover up mistakes. And you know, in art, you're gonna make mistakes and that's completely okay. Just start over or redo the area is completely fine. I add in some small details into the rays of sunshine with some Prismacolor colored pencils. And I think these turned out really cute. I like the way it looks. This does kind of remind me of the doll, the Cynthia doll from the Rugrats show. It was a cartoon. If you're a millennial, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyways, this reminds me of her hair. Now I'm just checking to make sure the eye area is dry before I go in and draw them again. Otherwise, it's going to mess up and get all muddy and blurry. Again, we're just going to go ahead and take off our washi tape and then move on to the next one. We're going to do the same process starting with the tracing. I try to create a crescent moon and I did not like the way that it looked with the moon beans in the background. So if you're going to do this, I suggest just starting out with a full circle like we did with the sun because eventually that's what I move on to. And again, uh, with the lines, you just use a ruler and create the lines in the background. And again, everything's going to be pretty similar to the last one. We're going to be using darker colors because this is a night scene. I went with mostly purples. And you see here, this is when I start to get confused. I'm like, what am I doing? I don't know. And boom, easy fix. <laughs> So for this one, I also add in a few tiny strips in addition to these bigger moonbeams. I think I'm about to do that in just a second. There we go. So I add three of these in just to make it a little bit different than the first picture. And I add in four of these fun diamond stars. And from here, everything's going to be exactly the same as the last one. Erase a little bit so that the pencil lines aren't too dark. And then grab one of your colors to start with. Oh, wait. Actually, oh, I forgot about this. My bad. So I'm creating the moon. To do this blending effect, you want to make sure you have both markers ready to go. You want to make sure that they're loaded with the paint and that they're both open so you can easily switch back and forth. This creates this fun little moon effect, and I think it ends up looking really good at the end. But once you have this moon background completed, everything else will be pretty much the same as before. You're going to outline the area that you color in and then color it in. The little star areas you do want to be a little bit careful with. Now I use this blue color here and then later decide I don't like it and I just go over it and completely color it in with this light purple. So again, just go ahead and fill everything in. This does take a while, so be patient, but in the end, you're gonna have a really cool looking picture. I'm using some gel pens to color in the stars and create the star dots. And then I just use my finger to take away all the little bits of the Posca pen. It'll leave little paper bits. <laughs> so I remove those. They come off pretty easily and you just wipe them away. And then of course we remove the washi tape and ta-da! We have another page spread completed. Well, there you have it, all three of the Posca Pen illustrations slash paintings. I hope you guys had fun creating these. And if you want, you can follow me over on Jen Fetzer Art on Instagram and tag me in any of these if you decide to do them. 
If you made it this far in the video, I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to give the video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. All right, bye guys.